वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नाइन दैट इज प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एंड मैक्सिम इन प्लेन शेयर स्ट्रेस एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी फाइव सो वट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज द वुडन ब्लॉक विल फेल इफ द शेयर स्ट्रेस एक्टिंग अलॉन्ग द ग्रेन इज फाइव फिफ्टी पी एस आई इफ द नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इज फोर हंड्रेड पी एस आई determine the necessary compressive stress sigma y that will cause the failure so you can say this is the wood this is the sigma x which is 400 psi this is sigma y compressive stress which is not known and this is the angle of the grain at which the shearing stress tau of x dash y dash is 550 psi so you have to find this sigma y that will cause the failure so let's start with the given data so in given data given it is given that the shearing stress acting along shearing stress acting along the grain is the grain which is the transform shearing stress which is tau of x dash y dash and that is 550 psi also it is given that normal stress in x direction is 400 psi clear so what we have to find is that we have to find determine determine necessary compressive necessary compressive stress and that is sigma y which cause which cause failure so let's start with the solution also you can see that this angle is 58 so if i take the element like this this is 58 degree along the grain 58 this is your sigma x which is 400 psi this is your sigma y which is not known and that is compressive so at this this surface the transform stress will be equal to sigma x dash and along this it will be equal to sigma uh, it will be tau of x dash y dash how so initial x axis is this one initial one initial axis is this one x axis and this is your y axis clear now you can see that this angle is the transform angle and this angle theta is equal to this 58 degree which is this one clear plus 90 degree so theta will be equal to 90 plus degree plus 58 degree and that will be equal to 148 degree 148 degree so you were new you were new axis will be this x y will transform into a new axis which is x dash sorry which is this will be your x dash because it is changed from 58 to and this will be your and here this will be your y dash axis now it is given that uh, the shearing stress along this grain is 550 psi so in our given data tau of x dash y dash is 550 psi clear sigma x is 400 there is no shear force over here tau of x y is equal to 0 and sigma y is not known clear so we know that mm, Uh, transform shearing stress tau of x dash y dash is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by two 
into sine of 2 theta plus tau of xy cos of 2 theta. So you have all the value tau of x dash y dash is 550 minus sigma x is 400 minus sigma y is not available divided by 2 and sine of theta. So theta is 148 degrees. So 2 theta will be equal to 296 degrees. So sine of 296 degree plus tau of x y which is 0 into cos of 296 degree. So again you will get 550 is equal to minus 400 minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 296 degree plus this term will be 0 because 0 multiplied by this will be 0. So you will get 550 multiplied by 2 divided by sine of 296 degree is equal to minus 400 plus sigma y. So from here you will get you will need sigma y so sigma y is equal to 550 multiply by 2 divide by sine of 296 degree plus 400 now this sigma y is if you calculate this term so this term will be equal to minus 1223.86 plus 400 and after calculating this you will get sigma y which is equal to minus 823.86 psi so this is the normal since this value is negative so it means this is compressive and this value is minus 823.96 which is 824 psi so if you apply sigma y is equal to minus 824 psi so it will create a transform shear stress of tau of x y dash is equal to 550 psi and it is given that it will fail at 550 psi so sigma y is 8 minus 824 psi will be the required answer for the this wooden block to fail at a degree of 58 degree due to this transform sharing stress and this was all about problem 9-25 i hope you have enjoyed this video those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section Thank you for watching.